Mr. Relevant 2022, with the 262nd pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Brock Purdy, a quarterback from Iowa State. With yesterday's come from behind victory, the SCLSU Mud Dogs earned a New Year's Day date with Red Bellu and the Louisiana Cougars in the first annual Bourbon Bowl. But not only has the water boy changed SCLSU's fortunes, he's got other teams looking around the sidelines for talent. In fact, yesterday, Michigan, devastated by injury, experimented with their towel boy and wide receiver. But the towel boy ran into a laundry list of problems. What is going on, guys? It's Sam Frisco here. And as you guys saw by the intro, we are trying to relive the Brock Purdy story like in the NFL. Now, it's the 2023 season draft, so it's been one year that Brock Purdy has, just like real life, going into this next season. And we are wondering, can we draft a quarterback as good as Brock Purdy or even better? But as you guys know, with the last pick, we are not going to get that type of talent, but we are going to try to build up that talent. So let's get right into it. With the last pick of the draft, we're going to take a slight, like, a QB right here. Not really wondering, like, have not taken a look at this class yet. So we still got a good, like, few good guys. We do have a guy that's a day three pick. I think I have to go with this guy. He's 22 years old. Traits don't look good. That is a problem. B injury, F stamina, pretty bad, but I think I got to take him. He's the most talented. We'll take a look at some of these other guys first, but definitely probably the guy I should go with in all sense here but here's what we are going to be doing for the season we are going to be doing about playing maybe three to four games a season and letting the you know CPU sim the rest to see how he can play because you know it would not be that fair if we played all the games of the season but we still want to have some fun with them so he can be successful so we'll try to kind of figure that out but each year, we're going to have some season goals for him, and we're going to compare the two quarterbacks, our quarterback we take, and Brock Purdy. And now, as you guys saw by the other intro, we are kind of living this Bobby like Boucher type of story. You know, kind of one team watched, you know, kind of put in Brock Purdy does well, and now we want to copy that, and we are going to see. So I think we got to just take the day three talent. The F stamina does suck, but it's a day three. It's already kind of there. 6'5", 224 pounds, 22 years old, right-handedness, uh, Oklahoma State, good player, and is an improviser. Dan Turner, with the last pick of the draft, draft Mr. Irrelevant, Dan Turner. Okay, normal development trait, but that is the end of the draft, and we already kind of did some draft before. We did the drafting, and we did do free agency. So let's take a look at which guys we drafted. So right away, we got some big kind of names. We had the number four pick, and we got a huge stud in a corner. CJ uh, Cranton. Bro, this guy looks incredible. So this guy's definitely going to be a factor just because we are going to kind of, you know, do the rest, but we have to keep. Actually, let's take a look. Okay, Dan Turner, 67 overall. Actually, pretty not bad, bro, for the last pick. Dan Turner, not, you know, too bad. Let's kind of see where he's at for his rest of his things. 76 speed, I don't know how I feel about that, I wish it was faster, but 86 acceleration, 79 stamina, not too bad, but I don't know, his traits are kind of what scares me, is so far the 48th ranked quarterback, so we kind of do got, you know, a ways to go to be at that type of level, but hey, we at least have a good start with this quarterback, and I think I've, any times I've kind of looked at doing this, this is a pretty good pick to get for the last pick of the draft, so Dan Turner is going to be our guy, he's going to be trying to live you know, the story of Brock Purdy trying to relive it. He is our Bobby Boucher right here. So let's take a look at our rest of our picks to, you know, kind of help him this year. So we took a corner as we already kind of looked. Very good guy. We took a left outside linebacker just to kind of stack up this defense. We took a defensive tackle, Greg Farr, 72 overall. Picked up another corner. Bro, we picked, like, we went defense heavy in this draft, as you can see. Jimmy Ford with a third round pick. Not a good pick, a 64 overall. Huge bust of a pick. Then we go to Cedric Bassey. Pretty sure I'm saying that right. But he's not even a real player anyways. Uh, we took a tight end with him. I'm pretty... A 67 is not bad. I wish it was higher, but we can live with it. We took a right guard, 65. We can work with it and kind of get him up. We just kind of took him as a backup. And with our last pick, we took a middle linebacker. Again, kind of just a backup player. So overall, I'm not mad with the draft, but I wish it could have been a little better. So now we will do our adjustments before we kind of get to the real season. 
and let's check out this roster to see what we got to work with. But the first thing we got to do with this roster is trade David Mills. He is gone off this roster. We're telling you that right now. He is going to be off this team just because, hey, we can't let him be playing over him. So we'll try to trade him away. And maybe the Buccaneers would take him? No, they don't. Do they still have Tom Brady? Okay, dude, I don't know which team is going to want to take him. Well, I guess... We'll scan every team to see if there is a team at all that has some interest. Okay, Seahawks. Seahawks, you want them. I know this is not going to work, but probably a second round pick would be fair. I think in real life he was a third round pick, so we traded him for a second. Good investment. I'm happy about that. So what we all will have to do now is pick up a... I, I guess we got to pick up a backup quarterback. Yeah. I'm uh, Sorry, I was trying to think of what... It was, but we need to find a guy that's lower than a 67 and maybe have some room in case he does not have a good year. Uh, Tyrod Taylor, perfect guy for the job. In is the highest guy for the job uh, for a backup in free agency. And so far, I'm not mad with the roster, but yeah. So we'll just kind of talk about which guys we picked up in free agency. We got Beluga to kind of give them a better offensive line. And the offensive line is not too bad but definitely needs to improve. And we will be quitting this series when uh, Dan Turner ret retires. So that could be 20 seasons. It could be 10 seasons. We don't know, but we are going to make sure to keep him on this Texans you know, roster for his whole career. That's the plan. We won't kind of be like trying to send him anywhere else. We're just hoping that he does not try to really, you know, want to leave us that bad. And I'm hoping not just because, hey, we try to give him the best possible like story here. You know, he's going to be the legend for years to come. He's going to be the MVP. He is going to be a Hall of Famer, we are hoping. But he also could be the biggest bust of history, not doing anything. And Brock Purdy could be maybe the best quarterback ever. Hey, only time will tell. But we did add Odell Beckham just because I did. Like, in real life, he is on the Ravens. But, hey, we wanted to have fun with this season. And when the new Madden comes out, we will have fun with that. But Odell Beckham is on our roster just because I wanted to give ourselves, you know, kind of that... Uh, an advantage you know not sell the year so much and defense definitely needs some improvement but hey this is going to be the roster we're going to work with we got four very strong corners and you know a lot of work with let's just kind of make sure our league setting is up to date before we kind of sim the season just because i do want to play the games and not have to deal with it so 15 minutes good with me and we do need to make sure this is on Madden difficulty because, hey, we don't want to be playing this like it's, you know, kind of a baby. But it is going to be hard with this bad of a quarterback. So let's do our franchise staff before two just to get this done. And then we will start our regular season. So, yeah, we're going to be doing this offensive sided because, hey, we want to get him as high as overall as we can as soon as we can. Um, and look, he's already going to be getting 20% more and I don't, yeah, he's a scheme. Actually, I don't even know what is a scheme fit. We did leave all the playbooks the same to make it a little bit harder to stay with, uh, the coaching's type of style. And let's sim to the regular season to see where we are at this point. So simming ahead to week four, are we going to be there where we want to, or are we going to have a bad season i'm very excited to see but we will be playing the first game to give them some help at least but yeah let's kind of start with the season goals four with season not expecting too much uh but maybe we, i think we can do maybe a little bit better rookie quarterback one hey man we gotta say a great performance you know all we expect the highest from this guy with the last pick and it is different just because way we didn't lose our quarterbacks but uh, I wish it, it would actually be kind of cool if you could, but it really wouldn't at the same time to injure your own players. But let's start the week, year, I guess. 2023 season, starting with the Colts. Tyra, uh, Dan Turner, let's do offensive only so we can get it in. Very excited to see what the future holds for him and what this game shows for him. And yeah, let's start the game. Okay, so the first drive they score, we do have a pretty good team overall-wise for our wide receivers and running back. And I'm trying to find a play that will work here. Um, we will not choose the same play anytime. 
we will kind of just kind of do what it suggests, and we will just kind of pick a play. Can't do the same play. We're going to start off with a run with Pierce here, just to get going. But let's start passing it. This could be his first, uh, you know, completion in the season. I want to choose this play. I don't usually run this play, but it looks kind of fun to do. Oh my god, bro. I was like, okay, his first career pass. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're going to do another play. Okay, actually gets the completion. First down? Okay, yes. Bro, that first pass, though. I, that was not good. Okay, so Odell Beckham, we're going to run here. Give him kind of straight route. Oh, yeah, this is our rookie, I realized. This is our rookie tight end. Uh, let's do a hurry up. We'll just play a few plays this drive. I don't really want to play the whole game, per se, just because I think that'd be a little unfair. Cooks gets the catch. Happy to have him. We're going to keep going hurry up to play it. Just a mess with the defense. Oh, my God, that might... Oh... Would have been his first career interception in the first game. Okay, so let's throw. We're kind of going to try to run you know, short routes just because I don't think he has the accuracy to really throw that well yet. Maybe this might be a long one. Oh! Come on, come on! Oh my god, I really thought he had that there. Well, I really want. I actually want to try to run it with him. Oh my god, we got the flag too. Bro, we got bullets heavy. I don't know if that was a blitz or if that was our offensive line, but bro, something went wrong, man. We we're gonna move back to the 15. Not really what you wanna see. Bro, they okay, they did blitz, I guess. But bro, our offensive line did shit there. Okay, let's choose this play. Got a few guys to throw here. And honestly, these are plays I never run, so it's a little bit hard. Collins with it. Okay, Collins. Collins is not in the, this game. He's kind of low overall. We're just going to do a screen pass. See how much time we can get. And we do have guys we can try to get in this play too. Oh my God! I was looking at eight and then I switched. So first drive, not going to be a touchdown. We will just take the field goal and we are just going to sim it. Let's do until the first half. We'll come out each half with the first drive to see what we can do. Okay, so this is his first drive as a... I guess, bro, we already are back at it. We didn't even get to see it. Bro, that wasted... They wasted so much time that first half. Okay, so this is our second drive of the game. We did start out with a run for our CPU. Almost a first down. Just need two more yards. We're just going to run slants here. Get the first down, that's all we really need. I'm gonna hurry this up and let's run this route just to see if we can get a deep threat here. Okay, should be a pick. Just kinda was trying to throw it, but really just trying to get rid of it at the same time. I'm just happy we haven't thrown a pick yet. Almost a pick, but hey, it's not a pick yet. Bro, we are getting blitzed heavily in this first half. That is something I'm noticing. I don't know. I guess I'm kind of holding on a little bit longer than I probably need to. But, bro, we do need to improve this offensive line for the future. <sighs> well, first pick of the season for him. Bro, inaccurate play. Okay, we're going to send the rest of this half now. That, that hurts to see. Okay, we get the pick though back. Christian Harris gets it, and this is his first drive. So, close to a first gets it. Okay, he's not throwing it bad right now. Never mind. Okay, so we're just gonna. He almost has the touchdown, bro. Come on. Okay, did he get it or do. You... Okay, they got a touchdown, bro. He got it. Okay, we're gonna start out with this drive again. Had a good run to start it. 
We're just playing the first kind of play of each half. Or, yeah, the first drive of, I guess, each quarter. Yeah, not a half. I don't know. I guess McKinnon is maybe our um, our rookie we Or, no, the running back we might have picked up in free agency. Not really a guy I'm seeing here. Just kind of throw it. Um, second down, we'll just run a slant play just to try to get pick up some yards. And let's see, any guys I'm wanting to throw here? Bro, I don't know what letter this guy is. Oh my god, I was, I hate that. I should have looked a little bit more. There was a guy in the corner that was open that I really wanted to hit there. Okay. We're doing a deep throw here with the call. Okay, step. Bro, Stephon Gilmore cooking us. Okay, well, bro. I just want to get done with this game. I know this is... Okay, we got the pick, though. Hey, you can get second touchdown of the year. Come on. Okay, they run in. Bro, I swear, if we win this game, no way that... Bro, if I was, like, Stephon Gilmore... I mean, Oh my god, they might actually lose this game. Okay, actually, yeah, so once this drive is over, tied game. Okay, we're we're getting this a touchdown for him here, bro. I don't care. We we get in here for him. Okay, we're in a slant's play. Bro, I'm watching that that X over there, bro. That that shit scare with stuff on. Oh. Okay, bro. Come on, Pierce. Get a good play going for us. Okay, we got a good play going. Third and five. Really just wanting to get it done here. Okay, we got the first. I think that was close. And we do need to get 300 yards for him to get that XP boost. We'd like to get the win, too. Ooh, okay, get the pass interference. That's a good sign for us. Okay. Let's run it. Let's get a run in, bro. We, we're not even running it when we should. We got Pierce, bro. We got to develop him on this team, too. Okay, that was a shit run for one yard. Do you want to hurry up here? Okay, we got the first and a good amount of yards gained. Do another play with the slants and kind of some quick pass options. Oh my god. Bro, we need seven yards too. So if we get a touchdown, we will get the 300 yards. I do want to see that. Okay, I thought that was a different route. In no way he gets a... Come on, McKinnon. Bro, that, that hurts, bro. I thought he was open there for a second, but he then he stopped, bro. Oh, my God. Okay. And we get the pick right away, bro. Oh, my God. I Okay. I have to, bro. I, I'm sorry. I, I got to do a run here, bro. I swear. This shit. Okay. It's going to work. It's going to work. Just get him the first down he wants. I swear. If we didn't get it. Okay, we did get it. Bro, I was about to be pissed there. We're gonna hurry up. We get him in the touchdown. He deserves this game. Bro, what? You gotta be kidding me, bro. Dude just drops it. Okay, I'm not passing it to B, bro. That was the play that was the last time it should have been, I think. Cook's got it. Yes! Got the touchdown. Getting ourselves to the lead. Okay, we will some just sim the rest, bro. We're gonna play fair. We're gonna let him have a shot. Like, I want, bro. I'm really hoping he gets his first career win. Let well, us score, and something is going on with my game. <laughs> bro, this is what you get in Madden. Just a bunch of glitches. Okay, so we're going with our play now. Get some yards. Get to running. But this is rude watching. I don't even know what's going on anymore. 
I guess he didn't get it. We're going to punt it somewhere in the stands. Bro, I don't know how far they are from... Okay, we're going into overtime, bro. They got the ball. Third down. Fumble recovery. Bro, where are we? Okay, we got the first. Are we this close or no? Okay, we're first and goal. Bro, we got the win. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro. Look at, my, look at our man celebrating. Okay, bro, he got 352 yards, four picks. Okay, one of them is the game's fault. That is his fault. Three of those are mine. So, yeah, as you can see, I do need to get better than that. And, uh, we did beat Colts week one. Good year for our players, honestly. Bro, what's his name? McKinnon. Bro, he's a stud for our team. And is there any other players I do want to look at? Let's see which players got picks on our teams. I, we didn't go one sack, though, which sucks. Jalen Petrie got a pick. Uh, who else did? Jimmy Ford, our free safety, got a pick. Bro, Stephon Gilmore cooked our asses, bro. Three picks. Well, I shouldn't even say ours. I should say my ass, bro. He cooked me. And, okay, Christian Harris got a pick. I, okay, that's it. I was kind of hoping our corner got one, but I guess not. He ain't going to get it done, I guess. That hurts to see. Okay, so that is going to be the end of our first game. And we are going to get a big XP boost. I'm hoping so. Um, Let's look. Let's do, yeah, steady improvement just to get a XP. Got 4,500. That's a good chunk. That should be one upgrade or two. Hoping it's two. We'd like to see that. We do need to have the big goal to try to get him an, an X Factor this year. We got trade offers for Fleming. This is a guy we picked up in free agency. Not really any good offers, in my opinion. I guess we got Warren, a 74 overall running back, and a 72 overall middle linebacker from the 49ers. Um, we'll check out those two guys. We'll check out the middle linebacker and the running back. Just, just see how old they are. Like, I'm fine taking either one of them. I'll do the trade, but I want to make sure I'm not getting, like, an, like an old head guy. Okay, the running back is 24. So, honestly, I would take him. Two touchdowns in his career. Would be a good backup for the future for us. And what's the... I'm trying to remember the... Okay, though, yeah, the 49ers. I was, like, trying to remember. And they offered us the middle linebacker. He is... 27. Yeah, we ain't taking him. Too old for us. But we are going to be taking that running back. I will do this trade just because Fleming is probably not going to play at all this year. Don't really care about the right end, but... All right, we get a good backup running back for this future. And we'll just cut our one guy off this roster. Kind of thought it would be that one guy, but I guess we want him. Don't know how old the right end is, but... Yeah, so that's the end of our trade. And Dan Turner got one upgrade overall. Almost two. I think we are going to stick with the improviser trade, just because it will help them upgrade a little bit more, and yeah, it's. I'm hoping we can see a big year from them. 60 improviser is on path, Damian Pierce goes up to 75, and I'm trying to think if I want to see some games or just sim. I think we're going to, we'll sim a few games and then go to midseason. We'll see what, see what happens with these games, just because this is our first year, so we kind of want to spend some time looking at this. But yeah, for the other years, we will be going faster. Just because, hey, we want to see him go. We do win week two, so we're 2-0 and already to the year. We'll send it to week four, and then I'm guessing he'll have an upgrade. We only predicted four wins. My real prediction, if you guys have a prediction down, leave it below. I believe we're going to only have six wins this year. That is my best prediction to go with. We'll lose to the Ravens. Let's see if he has an upgrade now just to kind of get him going. Um, yes, he does. Okay, he should go up to a 69 now. And, yeah, so he's he's kind of upgrading pretty good. I'm just hoping our other rookies develop too, just because, hey, we did take the corner and we did took up the left outside linebacker. So we do have some guys who we want to progress quite nicely. So week four, we get the win. 
And now we will, bro, the Cardinals are <laughs> zero and four. That's a, actually probably would be most realistic in this game, but let's him to the mid season and see where we are at that point. Okay, we are at the mid-season mark of the season. About to play the Steelers. We did do a trade with them. We are 4-2, though, so honestly a very good year. We already hit what we predicted in the game. Just kind of letting the game do the upgrading on its own. Really, the only guy we're trying to upgrade right now is our quarterback. Does not have a upgrade, and we are just going to sim up to Week 11 to actually... Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to play this game. Um, This is hard to say. I guess probably in a year, if we have 17 games, we might play four. Let's, honestly, let's play it. Let's have some fun and kind of see what we can do with them just to try to have them have at least a better year at each year. Looks like we have one of our guys have an X Factor. Pretty sure it's our left outside linebacker, but maybe it's a corner. Not too sure about that one yet. But going in this game, we are playing offensive only. And we will be doing the same thing as we did last time. Just pulling the first drive of each game and letting him do the rest. Just because we aren't going to just make him be the number one overall quarterback right away but we do want to give him some help this first and maybe a few years okay so first play bro on the on the run oh okay just did not put his feet down okay we did not get it but bro honestly i do need to increase the speed though that is something we need to try and maybe get him better at it would be nice to have like an 80 just to be out run a, a little bit faster but let's do a play here. Pass to Brevin Jordan. A uh, good amount of yardage. First pass of the game, though, for him. Do this play. I think we just pick the same play again, but I'll pick a different guy to pass it to. Bro, two Pierce? Come on, come on. Oh, my God, bro. A running back. Huge pass, though. Bro, on the run, too? Man, he's just cooking. McKinnon? Bro, with this... Can we get this play done in four uh, four passes this drive? Oh, no, we didn't. I had to do that play. I know that was a screen pass, but, bro, they had my guy locked down. Okay, bro, I always keep looking at basketball. Like, who the hell's Patsy? But he's our... Uh, oh, my God, I was going to do a run, but... Uh, I'm trying to think what... What's his name? Is it... Oh, it's TJ Watt. I was trying to think of his name. I was in my head. I was thinking of Bosa, but like I think I was thinking it was two Bosas because I know the 49ers win. Okay, so we got that play. We're gonna do flood here. See if we can get it done. Please, please, please. Ooh, oh my God, bro! TJ Watt is cooking. We got the pass away. That was fourth down. Oh my God! I did not realize that was fourth down. We're gonna sim this. Honestly, we just need to do our own simming just because that was our first drive. See if we can get a touchdown. We're not honestly doing bad. Gets the, gets the first down and gets the touchdown. Brevin Cooks, bro. We are not, like, it is a good thing we kind of did stack him up with some guys for this future. Just because, hey, we wanted to give him some weapons, and we do, we did give him that. But we, you know, we're not fully there yet, and he is not fully talented yet to win ourselves the Super Bowl. But maybe he is. Maybe we don't know that yet. Oh, yeah, I do need, I guess I just sim two halves, but it's fine. We'll just hop in. Once we score, and we'll play two drives in the fourth quarter. We did this play. Also, I I know in this playbook, this is a quite common play. I don't ever run the Texans playbook ever, so I'm not used to it. Oh my god, bro! Come on, get it, get it. Okay, he got it. I did not think he was going to get that. It was so late. Just have to, so they can't challenge it. Pretty sure it was in though. Let's do this play, just to switch things up. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of fun to play with a different playbook, but at the same time, it's harder just because I don't know it's a good play at all. Not a good pass, and bro, just go straight up pick. That is just where our offensive line just screws us over. 28-7, not a good looking game for us. Let's just play this last drive. 
We are home, and that's why we are here booing at that play. Turner probably going to have a huge pick season on his hands just because of us. But maybe we can... Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, he got a decent about hit there. That was good catch, though, in traffic. Okay, doing this play now. Pass here. First down, right? Close. Okay, we'll run this play again. And... Bro, okay, I was going to say, I swear, if TJ Watt gets us. Okay, I tried to slide, but I didn't get it. Dude, looks like he actually rushes quite well, too. I want to see, yeah, at the end of the year, we'll have to see what his full season looks like. Okay, huge catch by Brevin Jordan. He could be having a huge year. And let's just do a run here with McKinnon, just because he's our huge weapon. Oh, my God. Okay, get stops at the line. Second goal. McKinnon is having a shit game running, though. And Brevin Jordan gets the touchdown. Okay, we're just going to send the rest now. But, hey, we, we're trying to build some talent here this first year. That's the goal. You know, just kind of build up our guys, get some talent on this roster. Fourth and two. Bro, why would we punt it, though? I guess it was far back. Okay, we'll get another touchdown. Honestly, he's not having a bad year, I, pre I would say. But we don't know what he's doing when we're not watching him. But so far, when I'm simming with him, he does not look bad. I think Dan Turner could be a stud. Okay, I'm not mad with it, you know, we do need to improve, but, hey, we got, you know, we got things going for us. And it's another loss, but really, we're not trying to win that much this year. We want to kind of throw this year just to kind of get ourselves going in a way to get some higher draft picks. And let's just simulate. And honestly, the one thing we do need to look now is, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to sim this as one game. And we'll be taking a look at week nine to see who's leading the year. Is Dan Turner leading the year, or is Brock Purdy? That is something, because I don't know. Looking at the board so far, this is the weirdest top passing leaders. We got Russell Wilson, Kirk Cousins, and Tua. I've never seen something like that before on a board. But let's check out the year and see where we are. So right away for Turner, he's the 18th in passing yards, 9th in, uh, well, actually 26th in um, uh, passing touchdowns. We're just going to kind of wait a second to go through. And I think he was 46th in passing rating. It's not good, but that's oh, 45th. But it's mainly because of us. So let's check out the year. We're going to go to the NFL just to see. So Kirk Cousins. And we'll see who is leading it. So see which quarterback pops up first on this board. And Dan Turner popped up. Is Brock Purdy here? Bro, how's Patrick Mahomes? Like He hasn't thrown much picks, but not having a lot of yards. Oh my god, where's Brock Purdy? Brock Purdy, oh my god, he is down there. We got a good lead on passing yards, but he he's probably I think their team just runs the ball more, but really at the same time too, it just matters who at like who gets the Super Bowl. You know, you can have a great career in yards, but I think every player would rather have a Super Bowl than or I don't know. That's just my preference is I would have a, at least a mid career and get a ring than have a you know, a great career and not get a ring ever. Because I know a lot of players at the end of their career, they always try to go to a, like a superstar team like Randy Moss. And it didn't work out for him, which does suck. But that is the end of week eight going into week nine. Trying to figure out if we want to sim it. But I think, honestly, we're going to probably leave the video right here. Just kind of go with that for the first season to see where we are, to see where Dan Turner goes in his career just because we want to see him have this incredible season. We want to see him and develop into this incredible quarterback. And I'm hoping he truly does because, hey, we want to see some great things out of him. But so far, for week eight to kind of finish that, to be a four and a three season, hey, it's not bad. And this team does have potential to go very far, I believe. And we'll take a look, like last look at this roster kind of too to see what it looks like. And really, offensive line-wise, we're not bad. Quarterback, you know, he is getting up there. Good running back game, three good studs, two very good wide receivers, and Mache is getting up there, and Collins is getting up there. Defensively, bro, we got Creighton. We got a superstar X-Factor on our end for our corners, and we got a good left outside linebacker. Team is getting better every day, I would say. But 
that is going to be the end of today's video. Take one last look at our offensive ranking too. 19th in offense. Not a bad year. But thank you guys all so much for watching. This is just going to be a certain part. And we are going to have this kind of whole, you know, uh, series go for quite a while. We kind of maybe want to split into the season into two episodes. Just to have short, fun episodes to kind of get them out more often. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you guys all next time. Senior Pescado out.